Yo, what's good? It's your boy JG Tennis. Back with another video today. Yeah, so I'm looking at my schedule again. I gotta see what I'm doing this what video I'm doing. I already did the South Dakota. I did my tennis inside the city council meeting. The unpacking stuff I brought back from South Dakota. The time my school some schoolmates used me. So what do we have here? Another story time. But this time it's gonna be how my team won the state championship. So y'all know uh I showed two videos of my team winning the state championship. Well, not winning the state championship. I mean, uh, showing me interviews, showing uh, us inside of it. Yeah. So I'm going to explain how we got to that moment. So... You know, my George Ward team was, if we win in the playoffs, as you know, this is also part of my summer 2019 in review. So what happened was, in 2019, George Ward was ranked number two in the state of Alabama. We were playing the Edge 12, which was number one. The Edge beating us at our home turf by three points. But also, if you remember, the Edge was undefeated also when we played when, when we played them in day. The reason why they were ranked number one was because George Ward, our, we, we won close games. Like, we won by three, won by two, won by one. Well, not one by one. Like, won by close. So, when we played the Edge, we lost by three. But it, we had to play them. So it was Thursday, the day before Friday, we were leaving for Auburn. We had to get the teams ready. We got the teams ready. I was playing bad at practice. I was hitting bad and stuff, so I had to get some, because my thing was sweaty. My, I used to get sweaty a lot in tennis. And, you know, it went on the racket, and I could barely hit, and then it lost my racket. So I had to get turner grip, or tuna grip, so I can be able to play on in Auburn. So then Friday came. We went to George Ward for the meeting and the prayer. And then we were on our way. The players that were going to be playing was me, Parker, Andy, Junhee, Faith, Ronity, Ryan, the girl Ryan, and Allison. We're going to be playing the state championship against the Edge. Now, as you know, May, you may know, here's the part. We have to go to Tuskegee first. We had, so we toured Tuskegee, learned some stuff, and then, cause like, you know, my grandfather who passed away. Went to Tuskegee, uh, including my grandmother, Bird. So then, we we're heading to the Auburn. We headed to Auburn. We had, I had a buffalo chicken sandwich. But this is here. This is here. This is what happened. We didn't. We're, we weren't gonna play on Friday. We were gonna play on Saturday. So on Friday, we had to watch the 18 and under play tennis. We cheered them on, did all we could, cheered them, but they. I think they lost. Yeah, they lost. And then it rained. So we we're trying to figure out what me and my team were gonna do. 
so we decided why don't we go swimming so uh, but we have to go uh We couldn't go swimming yet. So, uh, I was, like, my mom had to leave, had to go somewhere. Went back to the hotel to rest. And, and dad had to, uh, like, dad was coming to the state championship also, but he had, he had to work on Friday morning, so he forgot his suitcase, and he had to drive all the way back to Birmingham, from, from Montgomery to Birmingham, then drive from Birmingham to Auburn and he got to the hotel like 12 a.m. at night so me and my team first we had to go we went practice we would practice at my old with the old tennis center where I used to play the state championship at Stanford not Stanford Alabama not Stanford in Birmingham or Homewood this is in Auburn it's a Stanford tennis in, tennis in, And there also, we I did well. I practiced, so we had one more thing to do, and that was prepare. Me and my teammates, we went swimming. I swam good, bro. I was good. I swam, man. I had a good swim. Not like that, no. I had a good swim in there. I was like this. I was splash, and there was water splashing on me everywhere, and we had some goldfish with it also. So then, I went back to the hotel and went to sleep. It was the next morning. We have to get ready. I'm at the hotel. I'm awake. I go downstairs. I eat a breakfast. Then I wait, but the, if you're wondering which hotel was I at, I was at the True by. If y'all remember, I was at a hotel in South Dakota. This it was kind of like the same hotel, True by Hilton. But you know, at the hotel there's most of the edge players there. I was in the like there are so many edge players there. That, like, well, there's only one from the from the who is playing twelve and under. And there's another, and there's most of them were 18 numbers from the edge, but we were playing the 12 number team. So we left the hotel. I also invited my uncle to come, too. He came all the way from to uh, Auburn, and this here, James Jones. We're here. At the hotel. I mean, not at the hotel. At Yarborough Tennis. In Auburn. Me and my team are prepared. We're like, are we going to do this or are we not? So then I look and I see. Like, I was like, the edge probably need a four. Like, probably need four boys, four girls. I know the four girls and the three boys. But I look over and see one more boy. I'm like, who is who can that be? And out of nowhere... I recognized the boy. The boy was Everett Minshew. He, like, I beaten him one time on hard court. And he beaten me on clay court in a classic match. He won 2 6, 6 4, 10 6 in a classic. I, I lost that match. I was out because I was kind of. Like it was intense. I wasn't. I wasn't afraid. So I was like, "Okay, he's there. I could probably get a ten point tiebreak. Let's see what I can do." And the matches were going well. We had to see what happens first. And this is what happens first. My team was leading in the game. 35-30. Like, we won three of the matches and lost two of them. I lost my match. 
Parker and Junhee watched their lost their doubles match. Allison won her singles. Andy and Ryan won their mixed doubles and uh girls doubles won Ronnie and Faith won their girls doubles. But the edge players were like running around and stuff. And and whenever be like I had to play Ever Minshew and he beaten me in a ten point tiebreak. Two four four three ten eight. So I was like, can I beat this man on clay? I don't know if I can. Ronnie and Fade won 4-3, 4-3. I, I forgot the score of Junhee and Parker. And Andy and stuff. They went into a 7-point tiebreak. Allison won easily. So it was the second time. Me and my team are eating lunch. We're also watching the 18 under play. Like my coach Gerald told, oh, I shouldn't have said the name. He told me, poker face. So it was time for us to play again. So I played singles. Like the Edge decided to do a matchup. They decided to switch their matchup up. Some said that it was a stronger, like, a stronger lineup. But in my opinion, I think he kind of made a mistake. Because the first three games, I won my game easily, 4-1, 4-0. Allison won her game easily. And then uh, Junhee and Parker, well, even though they won the first set and won the second set, they barely won the second set, but they won it. So the Edge won two matches that were with 10-point tiebreak. Against Andy and Ryan, and against Faith and Ronity. So we decided to go out that morning, I mean not that morning, at evening to eat dinner. At Applebee, well, yeah, probably. I don't know. We're all like tired, playing a match. I'm trying to focus on what's gonna happen tomorrow. We have fun with each other, talk to each other, make jokes with each other, make each other laugh. I was playing Subway Surfers. I let Andy see my phone and I let Parker see my phone. We were playing Subway Surfers. I was good there for a longest, like a 30 minute longest period. Like 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 a period of time. 30 minutes. I was on Subway Surfers. I thought I was gonna beat the record, but I couldn't. I couldn't beat the record. Couldn't beat the record. So then we got back to the hotel, and you know, mom's like, dad's telling me that even though Everett plays tennis every day, doesn't mean that I can't beat him. Cause I did beat him before, but it was on it was on a different surface. Like this is clay court, and he's like a master class on clay. And then it was the last day. The moment of truth to see who will win. My team will have to win at least two matches to win the state championship. I was not afraid next morning. Like this, the first two matches, two of my teammates lost. Ryan lost badly, I think, and Junior and Parker lost badly. So there's three matches to go. And but then out of nowhere, Faith and Ronity win in a ten point tiebreaker even though they went past ten. Sixteen to fourteen. That was a great match. That they won. But then I I was losing in my game against Ever I had to play Ever Minshew again. And I lost the first set. 3-4. But then, time came. And I won the second set. 4-2. That was when things started to go up. Like, usually, whoever won the second set again will win the game. And finally, after two hours and something minutes, I won the 10-point tiebreaker 10-7 in a classic match. 
so my team will win will pro will win the state championship. We gotta see what happens in the third match. Like in the last match. The last match the edge won in a ten point tiebreaker, but guess what? George Ward won overall. But the Edge was a good team though. They yeah. George Ward was the two thousand and nineteen Alabama State Champions. We won, we had a good time, we all celebrated. We were congratulated. And stuff. And then, you know, Rome, Georgia was about to come up. So we had to prepare for that. But what we didn't know... That there's another Alabama team... Coming to Rome, Georgia.